If you want to wirelessly cast to your view board, we're going to use an app called VCast Receiver. You can see it right here on the view board OS. So go ahead and open it. You're going to see here that there's a pin code, but if this is your first time casting, you're going to need to take a couple steps. So at the very bottom, you'll see it says tap here for first use. We're just going to touch that and it's going to give you directions for how to get started. The first and probably the most important thing is, is that uh, whatever wireless network or whatever network the board is connected to, your device needs to be on that same network. If it's on a different network, you're not going to be able to cast. The second thing is that you're going to need to download an app called VCast Sender. Now you can download this app by going to the URL that's displayed on your board just by typing it in a browser. When you go to that page, it's going to ask for a pin code. Just type the pin code that you see there. Now we already have VCast Sender downloaded on our MacBook here. Before we get started, I just want everybody to know that you can download VCast Sender for Mac OS, Chrome OS, and Windows 10. Go ahead, Blake. So here we have our laptop with VCast Sender installed. As Dan stated earlier, what we have to do is enter the pin code that I get from the view board. As I type in the pin code, six, four, six, I click OK, and I get a menu here. I have the menu to cast, which is sending my screen to the view board, or receive, which is receiving the screen from the view board to my laptop. I'm going to select cast to get my content to the board itself. And now my laptop image is replicating on the view board. In addition to your image being mirrored, if there's any audio, that audio will also play wirelessly through the speakers. In addition, if you're using Mac OS or Windows 10, you do get simple touchback. So you can see here, I can use single touch to drag and zoom in and out here on Google Earth. Now, if you're using Chrome OS, like a Chromebook, unfortunately, that does not support touchback. If you're trying to use an iPad, it also does not support touchback, but you can cast using the AirPlay protocol. Be sure to check out our video on how to cast using AirPlay. Now, when you're casting like this, if you ever close the VCast Sender app, it'll immediately disconnect or you can click the X in the bottom right corner to disconnect casting. Finally, we wanna make sure that you understand when you're casting, it is uh, using a lot of network resources. So we don't recommend casting for super long periods of time. For example, if you're showing a movie, it's better to plug your laptop in hardwired than try to run it wireless the entire time. We hope you found that useful. Very easy to get started with casting. Just open the VCast receiver app, follow those steps, and you can get started.